Hi, this video is going to show you how to make a prediction using the equation of the regression line. To get to the spot, you should have already have made a scatter plot, um, found a, a, a linear regression line or a line of best fit, and now we're, we're looking at how we can take that information and then put it into, um, to take it to be able to make a prediction with the graphing calculator also. So the big picture here is this. We have this scatter plot that we've created previously on the other examples. And in this case, we want to know what, if we have a 20-year-old, how many hours will it take for them to do the task? And so essentially what we're doing is we're saying, well, let's take this, this line when the x is equal to 20 here, and we're going to make a prediction as to where that, where that would fall on the scatter plot with our li line of best fit or our linear regression line. And, you know, we can make a guesstimate here. You know, if we, if we do this by hand, we would draw a line of best fit, fit through here, which you've seen me do before in the previous videos, where I'd say, okay, well, I think that line right there is the line of best fit. So with that line, in combination of coming up here with the 20, I would see a value that maybe it would be somewhere around 20, let's see, so maybe like 7, so about 7 hours it would take. That's an approximation. Well, with the linear regression line, using the, ta the graphing calculator, or when you create your linear regression line, you can actually take that 20 value and plug it into the equation and get your solution out. So that's what we're going to take a look at here and, and try to make sense of that. So I'm going to run through the process real quickly um, from the beginning. So we'll go back here. Uh, don't forget that when you are doing this, you need to make sure that your diagnostic is turned on. And um, so remember, you go second catalog, press D for diagnostic, and scroll down to, there it is, diagnostic on, press enter to choose it, and press enter one more time. And now that diagnostic is turned on. So now I'm going to go ahead and clear that home screen so we got a nice clear screen to start with. Sorry. Oops. And clear. And we're going to go back and remember we got to put our order pairs into our table. So we'll pull up our, our rules here and to enter data values into L1 and L2. We press the stat button. We press edit. Okay, so to get to this spot, I'm going to just real quickly start that over. Um, to get here, we've pressed the stat key. We press number one for edit. Now we're in our L1 and L2. Well, I actually already have the numbers in, but remember you just type 18, enter, 26, enter, and I'm following the directions right here. Once I have that, to see my scatter plot, I would say, um, I would say second, y equals, I go into plot number one, and once I'm in plot number one, I need to turn it on. I need to go down to the next option, make sure I'm on the scatter plot. Go down, and by default, remember it goes to L1 and L2. Now at this point, they tell us to press graph. If you remember, I like to go to zoom, and I like to go down to number 9. And the reason I choose number 9 is because number 9 is called, and I'll go back to it so you can see it, but number 9 is called zoom, zoom stat. And what zoom stat means is it's going to make the best possible window for you. And in this section, they actually refer to it as um, a truncated window. But it basically truncates your window to make a best fit to the data that you have. So we'll go back to our graph. So there's our scatter plot that we're working with right now. And with that scatter plot, it's very similar to what we saw a minute ago. I'm going to hit pause and give me one second. Okay, so now if we come back and we take a look and we compare those two plots you can see side by side um, you can see the similarities um, here that's going on you know once again if I had that line of fit uh, of best fit or, or um, excuse me if I had the line of best fit or my linear regression line on here then you know it would kind of pass somewhere through the middle so let's go ahead and get that line so now at this point um, we'll pull back up our statistical plot rules and let me clear these out real quick so you can see the, the steps. So to find the equation, they said we're going to go to stat. So I'm looking right here 
at this location to find the equation for the regression line. So I'm going to stat. I'm going to use my cursor to go over to calc. I'm going to go down to number 8. I'm going to press 8. That gives me the linear regression line. That brings me up my whole screen, home screen. I press enter. And that gives me my correlation with my linear regression line. Now let's recall what this means. So hit pause for one second. Now what this is saying to us right here is this is saying that we now have this equation. And the equation that we're looking at here says the equation that we have here is basically stating that using this formula y equals a plus b times x where a is our y-intercept and b is our slope that what we have is we now have an equation we can say an equation a linear regression equation where we have let's just call it 10.5 plus a negative point let's call it 1 8 times x so we have something that crosses the y-axis at 10.5 so here's the y-axis let's say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so it's going to cross the y-axis somewhere about right there it has a slope of negative 0.18 and so let's just take real quickly our calculator and see what negative 1.8 looks like so I'm going to say 0.18 I'm going to go to my math button I'm going to change that to a fraction and that's 9 50th so that's kind of hard for me to, to discuss but essentially what 9 50th means is it's going to go down nine times and over 50 times to be able to land and be my slope, my rise or my run. But for purpose reasons, we'll just look at it this kit, this way. So back to what we're actually doing here is that we're taking this equation right here and we're going to make a prediction with it. So by hand, I would take that equation at this point and I would come here to my question. And my question was, now I have this linear regression line and I want to find out um, I have this linear regression equation and I want to find out what would happen for a 20 year old so I have y equals 10.5 plus point was it 1 8x so now I want you to evaluate this when x equals 20 so 20 years so when I do that what happens is is I'm going to take I'm going to plug that in by hand y equals 10.5 plus 0.18 times 20. So I come to my calculator and and I come over here and I say 0.18 times 20 equals plus 10.5 and it gives me 14.1. So now if I come back to my graph and I say okay well I plugged in my 20 and I come up here and it says 14.1 which will be up here which is rather interesting um, because it seems like it's a little bit high. Did I do something wrong? No. So that would be by hand. So let's take a look and see what would happen if we did it with our graphing calculator. So this is the actual piece. I'm to the final piece of the video. This is the last part. So to do this to your graphing calculator, and bring this information up right here, move this over, clear this out. Let's go back to our graph and let's bring our regression line up first. So bring the regression line up um, remember we've got to make sure that first of all we have our y equals screen clear so we press the y equals button I'm looking at these directions down here make sure your y equals button is clear go to your vars button which is found in the middle of your keyboard and we're going to choose number five statistics once you're into this screen, you will arrow over. Please pay attention to the keystrokes right here if you're having troubles following. You're going to arrow over to equation, and then we choose number one, regular equation. That then takes that equation that I used a minute ago that I showed you, I pulled up, and it actually puts it in the y equals screen. So now when I hit graph, not only do I get my scatter plot, but I also get my linear regression line plotted on top of my scatter plot. So let's take that for a moment. Excuse me, I'll be right back. So here we have our, our, our plot 
pulled with the line on there it looks very very similar to what we had previously you know this the settings are a little bit different but we got the idea um, we're going to come on back to our graphing calculator here and we're going to go ahead and finish this up so now the key step here is that to be able to calculate that predicted value right here above the trace key you'll see it says calculate in blue so we're going to hit the second key first so we're going to hit the calc or the trace button we're going to calculate a value so we choose number one and now it says what x value do you want to calculate for well our x we wanted to calculate for was 20 so we press 20 and we press enter and it actually plots the order pair for us uh, I did make a mistake on my calculation earlier, excuse me. I'll go back and show you in just a moment. So it actually plots the calculation for us, and we can see on the graph where that prediction would occur. So let's go ahead and take a picture of that guy. Excuse me. And so now if you look at this picture, you'll see that right here, we can see on the graph where the prediction would occur. So that if I plugged in x equals 20, I would get out a y value of 0.6899. My mistake I made earlier, everybody, was I forgot this was negative 0.18. So when you multiply that out, um, I'll go back to the calculator and show you so it don't seem like a goofball. I take 0.1, oops, I take 0.1, oops, 0.18, multiply it times 20, add 10.5, and I get my fork. I did the same thing. Point, excuse me negative 0.18 times my 20 plus 10.5 and there we go 6.9 right, sorry about that um, so what this does let's wrap this up this actually comes to us and shows us that we can make a prediction anywhere on this graph this is what's going to happen on the homework problems is that they're going to give you the same exact problems that you saw from homework 10.2 and you're going to take those same problems and now you're going to make predictions. So you're going to have done the same thing. You got your scatter plot, you got your line of regression, and once you have your line of regression, you go ahead and, and plug it in to find your make your predictions. If you have any questions, please email me. Good luck with this. Um, you can see this is why the graphing calculator is such a great tool.